Thousands were out po without power this morning after a storm swept through our area. Many were woken up by the wind, others by the crack of a tree in their backyard. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc visited a home on Colby Avenue in Eastwood this afternoon where a tree split and fell on multiple lawns. One good thing about this, we're not going to have a lot of leaves that rake up next year. <laughs> Joe and Linda Troiano woke up this morning to a tree spread across their backyard. I didn't know it until my husband came out and said, boy, where did you see this? And I looked out the back window and was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> but it is what it is. The Troianos lost three sheds with thousands of dollars worth of items inside. And while they say that is a loss, all that matters is that their home is okay. But they can't say the same for their neighbor's property. I'm feeling bad for my neighbor in back of me because she's got little kids and her fence is down. Her dog's got no place to go and she's got a hole in her roof. The neighbors telling us off camera they're safe, despite the tree falling right near their bedroom. It's an event they've been anticipating for years, since the tree is old and always creaking during storms. But for the Troianos, in their 24 years of living here, they've never seen damage this daunting. There isn't a street in Syracuse that I haven't walked down, and, and I haven't experienced anything like this and especially in my own backyard. The branch is stuck sitting in the yard for a while. Since it's New Year's Day, the insurance can't scope it out, something they're not too worried about right now. It's stuff. You know, we're okay. Uh, I, I just hope that it can all get done before uh, the snow comes in Syracuse. A close call for those in Eastwood, but leaving many thankful the destruction isn't worse. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. And at its height, more than 5,000 National Grid customers were in the dark across the region. There are less than 700 still without power in Onondaga County. Always keep an eye on the weather.